Welcome back to Double Dipping, uh, the podcast that's so good you're always coming back in for more. Uh, today with me, I have the pleasure of having Mr. Derry McGinnis. Hello. Derry, thank, thank you for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no, I'm very excited for this one. You are the, uh, the third person to be uh, of the original Fifth Floor Mac group to be here uh, on the podcast. Because it was because Harry and Julia, yeah, or the other two. Okay, okay. And so now and now Derry. Yeah, now me. Um. So today, a little differently, uh, I have asked Derry not to show me, uh, his dip. Hidden. It is hidden to me. I don't know what. It is. I mean, it's in a it's in a shopper drug mart bag just, on the ground right next to Derry. That is an old bag. It's not from shopper drug mart. Okay. Uh, but no, I have not. Uh, I don't know what it is. Reuse your bags. This world is dying. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right, Derry. <laughs> I can't give straight face. <laughs> okay. Um. So do you wanna do you wanna show us now or do you wanna? Yes. Yeah. So I realized I was bought this. Okay. So, onion dip. Onions. Onion dip. Nice. Like, it's just like ogres. And. I should have bought ruffles because this is a ruffles dip. I bought tostitos. You now I feel like an idiot. Do you normally do the tostitos with it? No, I don't get dip. You don't usually do dip. No. Uh, if I have tostitos, though, it's salsa. Okay. Okay. So this is a combo you've never had before. I mean, not never, but like. Okay. I'm not going for it. Or like, I I I would choose the salsa first. Right. Right. Sure. Right, right, right. Right. How about you? No, I've never had the the onion dip with the Tostitos. Me neither. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I also have never had the Ruffles onion dip. I've tried the uh, hell of a good dip onion dip. I haven't tried that. Uh, I imagine it's similar. Yeah. But no, this will be um, this will be an interesting one to Our look at. Our breath is going to smell so bad. Yeah, no, it's not going to be great. I'm going to have to like space out after this. Yeah. Shall we open it? I think we'll we'll leave it for a little bit. Okay. I, I always just see, like, I've watched them in the past, and I see you digging in right away. So I was... Sometimes we I dig in excited. right away, and some, sometimes we, uh, we we wait a little bit. Uh, like it's the, like the Kira's pod. Yeah, like Kira's, we, we waited. Like, uh, not intentionally. Or, like, intentionally, but, like, not... Not intentionally. Not in this way. Because, like, we had it in the oven. Yeah. And then we took it out of the oven. Yeah. And then we let it cool down yeah. for, like, probably too long. Really? So, but it was fine. It was, I mean, that was a good dip, and we'll see how this one stacks up. I think it'd be pretty good. But no, Derry, you you lived on the fifth floor of McIsaac. I did. And there were certainly a lot of antics, a lot of, a lot of mischief that was... Uh, Conducted by me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you and, you and Harry were the, the dynamic duo. Mm, I'd say Jaden. Yeah, you and Jaden. No, Jaden and Harry. Jaden and Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got into some but some mischief. But I, I did a couple things too. No, I remember like there's a few occasions that remind me of just some some good old times, couple like the uh, yeah. the horn. That was actually, yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was me for a second. Um, no, the, the, the horn. soccer ball. I don't remember the soccer. You ball. called the report on me. The CA on me. What? When I like woke everyone up from kicking a soccer ball at my door. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got like three calls for that one kick. I I was it just one? Yeah. Dang. I was just. Harry was. Just I remember it was like the ball, and then like Jonah comes up all mad saying, three like he's on like three noise complaints at least. That's... He said multiple, and then you, Julia, and Connor all said they called. Jonah on me. I never got written up, though, for anything all year. People don't believe me. I remember doing that, and I didn't know it was you. I'm just like, who... I think it was, like, really late. Yeah, it was. And I was, like, trying to sleep, and I'm like, who is kicking a soccer ball up here at this late at night? So I just sent it in. My ADHD sometimes gets the best of me. Yeah, you just gotta... Just give her sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, Derry, there's a, certainly a lot of, of fun things that I got up to. Buffoonery. Buffoonery is a very good word. Yeah. It's a very good word to describe it, the buffoonery. For sure. <laughs> but you, um, so you live there in MacIsaac mm-hmm. for your first year, but your second year, where, where were you living last year? O'Regan and MSB. O'Regan and MSB. Cause, yeah, because you were in O'Regan and then you moved over to, yeah. to MSB. Yeah. But you were, it's, I mean, it's a good thing you did do it the other order. You didn't get affected by the, uh, the hurricane. It is. Yeah. That would not have been fun. Were you, were you like hit at all by the hurricane, affected by it? No? No. That's handy. It's pretty fun. The well, hurricane? Watching it. Probably watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed. No, I remember that was a weird, uh, weird night. I remember looking out and seeing what I could have only described as green lightning. It was weird as fuck. Yeah. And it was, like, that was really weird. I don't remember. I also remember seeing all the trees, like, coming down. The trees, like, it was a lot of trees came down. A lot of big trees. Um, it was very, very impressive. Like, I was, like, in powers that night. And, like, you know, like, the five trees, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the parking yeah. lot? Like, three of them came down. Like, all fell down. Yeah. There used to be a big tree outside the side door. McIsaac, the one into the parking lot. Like, you know, like, the big tree that was right out. And that tree just came down. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that tree's gone. Wild. No, and I remember that um, that happened. And so, like, the day after the hurricane ended, it was actually me, Will, and Murray. We um, were supposed to come and see this place, where we're at right now, uh, to just see, you know, come talk to the guy who owns it and see if we wanted to rent it and all that. And so when we looked through here, we didn't have any power. Dang. So the first time we saw the place with power is when we moved in. That's scary. It was kind of it was kind of interesting though. It was a lot of natural light. But like, was, oh, true, yeah. It was kind of nice to see like, because the front windows do let in a lot of light. And, yeah. Well, I was. How did you see the bathroom? Uh, well, we had flashlights. We we did have flashlights when we went downstairs, um, to see the bathroom, but. Yeah, I mean, it was it was quite the time. It was quite the time. So, did Derry? Yes. <laughs> you're uh, you're in business. I am. Um, I don't know what your like specific major major is, or your minor or accounting, and I'm minoring in sports management. Nice, nice. How about you? Uh, well, I was in physics, minoring in. Um, originally it was probably going to be math Mm -hmm. and then I changed to minoring in computer science and now I'm majoring in computer science and minoring in physics nice yeah so you're still allowed in the physics room yeah 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 no I spend all my time I hear Harry's illegally in there illegally yeah he's not in physics anymore Harry's in physics oh I thought he wasn't no Harry Harry's in physics and um I'm I'm Technically illegally in there. Well, you're a physics minor. Is there anyone illegally in there? Uh, no. Call them out. No, there isn't anybody. Everybody's either like a physics major or minor. Dang. Yep. There isn't anybody who. Um, sometimes people will pop by. But like they say don't. No. No. Like um. The other day, uh, one of the guy's uh, sisters came by and waited for him in the room. Because I think he was like in a midterm or something, and she had some of his that he needed, and so she just waited around for him. So I mean, it's a very nice place, and people are pretty inviting. But you like, or are you talking about the um, the small little room? Yeah. Oh, then there's a new room. No, the room that I always see you in when I walk by down the road. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the new room. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the one from uh, last year. No, the one with the microwave. Yeah, the one from the microwave last year. The new one has a microwave as well. That but the old new one, one has was so cool. The old one was. Did you ever use it? The microwave. Yeah. Yeah. Your Not. It doesn't spin. No, it doesn't I'm spin. That wild. It is weird, and it's like a dial. Like there's no buttons. Yeah. It's just like open and then a dial. How did people live before 2010? Yeah. <laughs> I think button microwaves got buttons way before 2010. I'm not going to speak on that topic. No, you're not going to. Did you just choose to abstain? 
uh, from the history of microwaves? I do. Is that your your other minor, microwave history? Damn. I know a lot. Tell me to brag. Yeah. On microwaves. You know a lot about microwaves. Rapid fire. Ask me some microwave questions. Okay. Um, what is the button in the top left on a microwave? The forty-five second button. Derry, I have never seen a forty-five second button on a microwave in my life. Okay, well, who's one <laughs> minoring? That did not. I'm sorry. I should not have said. Uh, I take back that prior sentence. Oh my god. So you're doing so accounting then? Yes. Why? Uh, why accounting? Um, I want. I. This leaves more options. I don't know what I want to do after university. If you could do, like, one thing that's, like, crazy, what would you do? Skydiving. Skydiving. Okay, I meant career, but skydiving is interesting. Why skydiving? Because I don't actually want to do skydiving, but I feel like it's crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But, like, career-wise, what job... Would you have if you could have any job just like now? Like having to do with business or just in general? Just in general, just like a firefighter. All. Firefighter? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Why would you want to be a firefighter? I mean, that's a pretty cool job. It is. Like, you gotta. It's like. You get like. <laughs> like, your hours worked is like all consecutive. Like. It's like you get like tons of time on the job and then tons of time off the job like you sleep there and stuff so it's like uh, you get a lot of time off and like you uh like I don't I don't, I don't I'm gonna leave it at that I'm not gonna say anymore yeah no I mean I think firefighter is pretty interesting I mean you could do like yeah if it's like a lot of you just do a bunch you just work a lot and then you get a bunch of time off that'll let you have time to do other stuff too. Yeah. Make good money. Yeah. Obviously it's a lot of work and a lot of it is like really hard to get become a firefighter though. I've heard that, yeah. No, but I've heard um a buddy of mine in high school did a co op with uh, a fire department and he said it was like like he obviously wasn't there very often and he would just come in. But he like it seems like it, yeah, it's a lot of work and Yeah. Tons of volunteering to get the job, I think, I assume. I hear a lot of volunteer firefighters, at least. It would make sense. But a lot of people have, like, a military background and, or, like, search and rescue type stuff. And then they go in from, you know, wherever they were doing before into firefighting. Facts. Yeah. How about you? What's your dream job? Um, you know, if I could do anything... Uh, I probably want to, I think content creation is a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I've been doing it on the side, clearly. Um, cause you know, that's, that's... I've been watching your tri- Twitch streams. Yeah. You've been watching the Twitch streams the last few days. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, what are you thinking? We've been playing a lot of, um, Lethal Company and Valorant, which some videos are coming out on the YouTube for that pretty soon. Watch them. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna whip together the um, Lethal Company tonight. Yeah, uh, I liked when you played Lego DC Super Villains. That was a really special one in my heart. Yeah, I remember where when when did I play that? That was I remember I tried to when play you were playing Lego Star Wars, and then you switched. Yeah, and I switched it up. I remember I tried to play it, but it was like super laggy and weird. Which one, Star Wars? Or no, um, DC's? Lego DC. It was like laggy and weird I when mean, I tried to so play fun, it. Though. I don't know. I I, I do, do say that's probably one of my favorite Lego games, because it, it's one of the Lego games that's sort of built on the base, and it's just sort of it's the newest one before they changed everything up with Lego Star Wars, um, the Skywalker Saga, which I don't know about your opinion of that Skywalker Saga. I mean, like, honestly, I can't even play it anymore. I got a digital PS5, and I have it on disc, so... Yeah. I haven't played it in a minute. It's pretty mid. Not missing it that much. Yeah. Like, it was really hyped up, and I was super excited. It was super nostalgic. 
um, to get to play it after you know the complete saga is that one of those childhood games for sure um, but no it just wasn't as good yeah no it wasn't it was just didn't feel like a Lego game it felt like too much too much and the things that they did do just felt wrong yeah unneeded yeah yeah unneeded facts and they, they lost the character customizer really yeah that was that was always a big one that was always one of my favorite things to Lego games was the uh, the character customizers yeah it was fun and then they got rid of it man they did which that's is sad. that's a rough one and now we got there's been no Lego games come out since. Really? Like, no games, Lego games announced since. Jeez. And that was what, like, two years ago? Over like two years ago? Sucked so much. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> Probably am. They, um... Got bullied out of it. Yeah? <laughs> they, they, um... No, the, the studio made an entire new, like, game engine to run it, and they put a lot of money and time into it just for it to flop. So kind of makes sense that the Lego was like you guys suck yeah and then instead they went with fucking Fortnite sounds like what GTA 6 is gonna be yeah you think GTA 6 is gonna no it's gonna be so good I'm so excited <laughs> you just you just flipped out <laughs> immediately you're I never um so you play GTA 5 then do you like play often or mm, no like no. Yeah, I used to play so much yeah, I get that. I have a lot of games. Very large, but again, I have it on disc. Mm-hmm. Right. Did you get um, uh, the original PS5 or the Slim? Uh, like, is there's the new PS5 Slim that has like the two panels on each side, no, or is I it just the like the original. one? Because the the new the new Slim you can add the disc drive yeah. onto, but yeah. Jeez, I know that. Yeah. Did you play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? No, I've seen a lot of uh, Red Dead 2. Um, I've pr- probably seen more Red Dead Online, which yeah. is, again, it's essentially just Red Dead 2. Yeah. That's just water. Yeah, I know. Oh, is there like a little fleck? There's a few. A few? It's not, it's not, it's not you, I'm just really picky. Oh, okay. Ew, my hands are oily. No, they aren't. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Because people are saying, like, GTA 6 is taking so long to come out, but it's like, Red Dead Redemption 2 is so good, and they're both made by Rockstar. Like, they spent, they did a good job on that game. I think Rockstar has really done a good job on a lot of games. Like, they did really good in GTA, uh, GTA 5 and such, and uh, Red Dead is just, like, from what I've seen, they're just no. notoriously yeah. great games. And, yeah, I think that the time they're sinking into it is mm-hmm. going to be worth it. No, for sure. I'm so excited. And it's going to come out well. Yeah. No, I think that it, they're going to... Knock it out of the park. Exactly. Because so it's going to take up exactly so much storage. Like, if you're actually going to need, like, extended storage just for that one game. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's, like, huge. Like, I've heard that there's, like, 500 hours is what I've heard being thrown around, which is insane. To download it? No, 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 to okay. play, like, to finish the game. <laughs> like... like, to 100% the game is 500 hours. Which is like, I can't even think of a game that I have 500 hours in. I can think of a few. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, no. It's because I got, I got, like, my PS5 Christmas, right? And on the PS5, you can see, like, how many games you've played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like... On, or not, not how many yeah you can't see how many games you play but like you can see how many hours you have on a game on yeah. PS4 you didn't so I didn't worry about that stuff so like I would keep just like my game on overnight like I wouldn't turn it off so then like every night so you just get like oh there's an extra like 10 up. hours so then like on like each NHL I have like not f- like 500 but I have like I think I only have like 500 on one but I have like over 400 on like Every NHL, Madden, NBA game, but it's like man, there's an asterisk beside that. Yeah, I think um, a game I do that a lot for is uh, is Injustice Two. Is a it's like the Mortal Kombat with like superheroes, nice like Batman, Superman, and such. And 
I didn't really like the gameplay in that game, but it had an awesome gear system where you could just collect gear and customize the characters and make them look awesome. Um, but they had a thing where you can just put in AI and the bots would just fight for you. So I would do that, and all I have to do is hit X between games and it would just keep going. Uh, potentially infinitely because there was an infinite mode. And so I would do that and then like just watch YouTube on my phone. And so I probably have the most hours in that game. But that's probably still only like in the 300 nice. area. Yeah. But like the game I spent time actually playing, it's Battlefront 2. I re-downloaded that game. It is so fun. Dude, Battlefront 2 is so much fun. Have you played story mode or if you're just playing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the campaign? I guess it's called campaign in that, right? I played the, the campaign. I played a lot of the multiplayer. I remember... Because I would have got my PS4. Would have been Christmas 2017. And that's what I got it uh, as a bundle. Nice. Did you want? Um, did you one hundred the uh, the campaign? Yeah. Uh, no, I never did. I, there was like a few collectibles I'm missing. Oh. Um, but I sunk so much time into like, because I didn't have a PlayStation Plus membership for the longest time. Oh, me neither. Yeah. So I just like played the arcade, nice. in that game, and that was a lot of fun. And then, so like a lot of people hated how you had to like pay for stuff at launch. Yeah. Cause that's why the game was never really so popular. Cause like at launch you had to like pay for Darth Vader and like all the characters. Really. Which is stupid. Um, but then they changed it, and the the way the game is now is you you don't you just unlock them with experience. Wait, then like what would people have paid for Darth Vader? <laughs> I think they got refunded. Um, I think, I think they got refunded. Assholes. Um, Doing that. I know, it's fucked. Uh, but they changed it, and then, you know, the way the game is now is perfect. It was incredible. Uh, and then they canceled the game. They didn't. They stopped updating it to make um, Battlefield 2042, which, I don't know if you ever saw that game, it was absolute dog shit. Really? It was a terrible video game. Jeez. And, yeah. I'm on the, like... I haven't even come close to completing all of the campaign. Like, I'm on the I'm on the part where like I forget. It's the part. It's like the part where they are, they're trying to escape the factory. The like AT what it, like what are they called? Um, but like the big walkers. Yeah. And are they on Cloud City? It's um. Uh, are they on like that planet? What's that his has... name? Cape Boy. Cape Lando. Yeah. Oh, so you're playing as Lando. No, am I? It's just a mission. Like With in, Lando? In, yeah. Where? In like, the like, trying to escape the factory. Like, like the first mission? Maybe. Because <laughs> that's like the first mission you, you escape his ship. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So then that's the first mission. Is it? Oh. Because like, yeah, the campaign you go like through... All yeah, kinds I of really put cool many shit. hours into it. I just like, it took me so long to get through that part. It took me like hours, and then I just like get bored because I kept dying, and then I turn it off. No, that was it's a game I definitely spent a lot of time with, especially the online modes. Did you ever play some heroes versus villains? I haven't. No, I would highly suggest that. I was looking through our, like texts that you texted me to come on the podcast and. We said we were going to play, like, two years ago. Oh, my God, did. we did, and we didn't. Oh, man. No, that that's a fun game. Yeah. Like, I can't really think of anything about that game that... We can get Murray on there, too. Just like, oh, dude, we could. He, he, I asked him, too, like, at the same time, and we still haven't played either. But, man. Well, Battlefront 2 yeah. is a lot of fun. Yeah. Have you been seeing, um, well, I know you're, uh, I don't know if you watch him, but you certainly sent me a few clips for, uh, Queso. I, I dabble in some Queso. Queso is a, he's a funny guy, man. He is. He's, well, he's the biggest streamer in the world right now. Really? Yeah. I thought it'd be Jinxie for sure. No, nah, it's Queso. Really? Yeah. Jinxie's like, 
they're neck and neck, but it's uh, Queso is the biggest. Yeah. In in both ways. Was he the guy that did like the fridge reviews? Queso does do fridge reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He reviews people's fridges and. Man. Yeah. He's a, he's. Do you like sketch though? Sketch. Sketch is so funny. Sketch is my favorite by <laughs> far. Sketch is crazy. I so sketch just kind of came out of nowhere. Good day, brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, he's sketch is hilarious. He's, he's so funny. He's very funny. My brother said I remind him of sketch. Yeah. After I said something that I cannot say on the podcast, <laughs> that was my proudest moment. Oh my god, your proudest moment is being compared to sketch. Sketch has some crazy comebacks, certainly. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, oh my God, he has some crazy ones. No, that, uh, those, those three guys there, Jinxie, Sketch, and, uh, and Kesko. Special teams, special players, special plays. Man, they're, oh, they're good. Yeah. Do you see them cooking high? No. Oh. I what, was that the three of them, or just... No, just, just Jinxie, Jinxie and, and, uh, Sketch. And Sketch. He always wears his headphones, too. Did you see them golfing? He was still wearing them. Yeah, I did see that. Golfing with the headphones. Because it's like... And those, like, the big Apple ones. Like... Yeah. That's hilarious. How am I blank? I literally saw, like, a top ten sketch sayings, like, last week. Like, a couple... Not even, like, probably, like, four days ago, and I forget them all. <laughs> you forget all of them? Yeah. It's the good day, brother. That one, yeah. that that's that's a classic. One. God, yeah. he's he's funny. Oh man, you know, Derry, I think we should get into this dip. We should. Have you have you been dabbling in March Madness? Uh no. Dang. No, I've never. Uh... No brackets. Dang. No, I've never never uh, done the March Madness before. Me neither. It's my first first time doing bracket. Well, I feel like I don't know anything. That's what does the best. Because it's <laughs> so unpredictable. No, I swear. Seriously? It's like, yeah, it just doesn't matter? Yeah. Because like people who know basketball, or like know college basketball, overthink it so much and they get like everything wrong. But then people who just like don't randomly know. guess, just they like, actually do the best. Correct. Like the person who... Like, I saw this video, like, two days ago, who did the best, like, a couple years ago, I want to say, like, 20, not, maybe a little more than a couple now, like, 2019, like, he didn't watch, like, a single second of college basketball. He just, like, guessed everything. He was like, oh, I was like, tour to UCLA, and even though they were, like, the 11th seed, I, like, predicted them to go to, like, the final four of 64 teams, because I liked their campus. That's nobody. Cra- like that's a crazy that. thing to say. Yeah. Like that doesn't even make any sense. No, it doesn't. That's the thing. Like that's like. Who does the best? Yeah. So this is this is certainly an interesting combo there. It is. The tortilla chips with the yeah. the onion dip. Not bad. No, it's not bad. But then I predict South Carolina to win it all, and they get bounced in the first round. Because <laughs> they're called the Gamecocks. I think it's funny that they have cocks in their name. Uh, Mary was saying that there's a, a place called Moorhead. Yeah. And Longwood. Like, what the heck? That's crazy. They're both out. Are they? Very sad. Oh, that is that is very sad. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is gonna win it all? I don't even know what the teams are, Derry. Do you want me to name all sixty-four of them? Have them memorized. I'm gonna pull them out. There's only thirty-two left. Well, actually, there's like a little less than that now. So, what the fuck am I looking at right now? Yeah, that's not the right bracket. Just search up, like, let's go on, like, the ESPN. Um, the ESPN. Well, this is the NCAA website. That's the 23. This is the 24. 
this go to all maybe? No, this is the 2024 like... NCAA men's. Okay, yeah. Okay, so UConn. Wait, do these not have their names? The team names? Yeah, no, they don't. Oh, that's boring. Hold on, let me, just, let me click on this. Let me check ESPN. Let's see. Really? They just have, like, the state names? I have to click on it and then be like, the Flyers and the Wildcats. That's crazy. Does Yahoo do it? The CBS? There's so many, like... You know, there's no perfect brackets left, even though only one round has passed. What do you mean? Like, there's, like... Probably... Cause, like, do you do it, like, through them? Through, like, ESPN, yeah. I submitted one through ESPN. And then, uh... And then does ESPN say, like, hey, y'all fucked it up? Like, yeah. So, like... That's kind of crazy. Here, like, you think statistically there would be. Oh, you can't even look anymore. But, like, usually there's, like, a... Like, see how many... Uh... Brackets are left. And that only lasted one day, that button. Because now there's no brackets after. That's kind of wild. That's... After the second day. Like, I would... You'd think that just, like, on statistics, that someone would just so happen to pick the right... Mm -hmm. But, no, that's weird. Yeah. There's 63 games, so, like, you need to get, like, a coin flip right every... Like, 63 times in a row. That's true. I saw a stat where it's... You're more likely... There, there's, like... There's more uh, grains of sand on Earth than possibilities of, of brackets. Damn. It's like quintillions. Yeah, because that would go up fast. 63? Yeah, yeah that would go up fast. Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Yep. <laughs> and I can't imagine actually being the person who picks it right. Because nice. there's only one out of 64. Yeah. yeah. Someone's out of the room. Who is it? Who is I don't it? know who that is. Making room, making noise downstairs. Someone who's probably intentionally being quiet right now. You can't, you can't tell who it is by the door. That's the bathroom door. But like, that's the only door that squeaks. Really? Yeah. Jeez. So then how are you supposed to know who's leaving the room? You don't. You can't tell? Footsteps, I guess. Maybe that they're talking. Will usually closes his door behind him so that you can hear that. Murray doesn't. No. I mean, I don't either. Yeah. So what's the difference? So did you hear a door close? Just now? Yeah. No, but like I probably should have. So you think it's Will? Unless they're just like standing in the hallway. Wait, no. Do you think it's Murray? No, because Murray would have had to leave his room, go to the bathroom, come out of the bathroom, because we heard the squeak twice, and then go back into his room and close the door. No, I think it's... He, go, he went in. Yeah, to the bathroom. He's probably going to the bathroom right now. But we heard the door, door squeak twice. Because he's opening, opening and, closing. and closing. Yep. Yep, you're right. Yep. Dang. So we just wait for the door to speak. Yeah, no, like, we just gotta wait. Uh, wait for that to, to open itself back up. Mm -hmm. Unless we're wrong. No. No, you think we're right? I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. Derry's never wrong. There, somewhere in this world, is a microwave with a 45-second button, because Derry is never wrong. I'll search it up right now. There is one. Yeah? Sure, I'll search it up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up. Wave 45 second button. Okay, there's a 30 second button. There's a 30 second button. 
Whoa, that's a lot of muttons. There must be a 45 on there. Uh, hey, well, no, you said the top right. You're not looking in the right area. I said top left. Okay, Because well, I was, I was trying to get you to answer popcorn. You know? We can't, though. Well, I thought you meant, like, the very, like, the very left of the microwave that you can't see right now. Why would there be a button over there? Because that's where the 45 seconds is. Dairy, I... I don't think so. I do. I know so. What was this? Dang, these, this is the craziest collection of microwave buttons. Because it's in Braille? Defrost. No, dairy, because look at the button selections. The buttons are just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. That's normal. But then you have hold 0%, defrost 20%, medium 50%, medium high 70%, time entry, times 2, which I feel like actually would be a really helpful button. Why? Well, like, say, like... You're, you feel like put, 1 you, second times 2 to make it 4 seconds? No. To make it... Well, like, no, not like that would 1 still be second. 1 second. Never mind. Maybe, like, you put something in for, like, a minute... And like it stops. Wait, no. And but one like you want it to go back in, you can two. just hit the times two button, and it would immediately go for two minutes. You know what I mean? Like it just yeah. doubles the last time that it had on it. Yeah. Like I feel yeah. like that would be really helpful. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, but no, there was a Reddit post. Uh, I just ran into a post with time left in a microwave, and it drove me nuts leaving it there. Here's my questions, though. I've done this most of my life. When you microwave something, directions say to microwave for 45 seconds. Do you actually move your finger to the 5? My OCD won't let me. It's kind of like reverse OCD. I have to push 44 just because I don't have to move my finger to 5. So it's always 44. How's that OCD? I don't know. It sounds like just compulsive laziness. Yeah. Uh, if you ever ever attempted to do 30, it has to be 33. I even skipped the 30 second button because I'm just used to it. I can't be the only one who does this. And then the first comment is, I think you might be the only one who does this. And then the next comment says, I'm the only one who does this. Yeah, it's as useless as... The expression of, it's you're as useless as the nine button on a microwave. That's a crazy expression. That's actually kind of a fire expression though. Like actually, like that's a crazy thing to say to someone. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, now that I think about it, what the hell is that for? The nine. Well, it's like you can't just like include some of the numbers. Okay. Well, there's like it's possible to go ninety minutes on a microwave. Is it? I feel like the microwave would overheat, and just stop. Well, no, it's possible. Like, ninety minutes is like an option. I think I've, I've put in 90 seconds in a microwave before. Like, if it says a minute and a half, I'm yeah. not doing one three zero. I'm doing nine zero. Can that's you just, do that? That's just faster. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. What? It changes my life. I see there's the use for the nine button on the microwave. Right there. So, the expression is like, you're really smart. Well, No. Yeah, the expression doesn't make as much sense anymore. You ruined it, man. Yeah, I know I ruined it. That's yeah, that's that's me. No, Reddit's um actually that might be a crazy thing to do right now, Jerry. Um we just look at like Deep Dive on Reddit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here here's Ask Reddit. Um oh no, not Ask Reddit. Oh wait, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Okay. I see these on TikTok. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, but we get to judge these people. So, top today. But we need we need to discuss for something first. Okay. On TikTok. Yeah. You, like, you see the Reddit things. Yeah, What's yeah, the all best? The time. Is it the Minecraft course? Is it uh, Subway Surfer? It's not Subway Surfer. Really? Yeah, it's Minecraft, for sure. There's, there's some other ones, right? There's... There's ones where, like, there's, like, jumping on, like, the diagonal surfaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, but I feel like... Uh, what game is that? Do you know? Where they're, like, sliding on the yeah. surfaces. That's uh, that's CSGO, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, 
but I I would say that um, that that the Minecraft parkour, it is. It's especially the sick. ones where like he's jumping around and like he's being chased by heroes. And those, some of those courses like they're hard. They're so good. Like they take some time. Yeah, and like they just like they're visually appealing. Like I'll watch like the course and then watch it again, like because I didn't even hear the post. I was just so dialed. Sorry, all right, let's, all right. let's, no, yeah, let's, let's learn some about some assholes. Uh, am I the asshole for breaking up with my boyfriend because he ripped my jeans in public? Uh, my boyfriend... Oh, he doesn't, like, do the, like, my boyfriend, 24 male. It didn't do that. Oh, I want I want to find one that has that. Yeah, I'm not a big Redditor, so I need, like... No, are a lot like, of these... Oh, okay, here we go. But are a lot of these like, fake? Like, it's just, like, the whole point of Reddit is just to, like, make up fake stories. Well... Because I've heard that. Like Some one. of these are definitely faked for upvotes. Fake. Um, okay, okay, whatever. We're just going to go with the first one because they get kind of weird. Um, am I the asshole for breaking up with my boyfriend because he ripped my jeans in public? My boyfriend uploads various pranks he makes with his friends to TikTok. From the beginning, I asked him not to include me in his pranks and that I didn't want to my face to appear in any of his videos. Sometimes I help him record or edit videos, but that's all. Two days ago at night, we were going to buy some things with his friends. Before we went, uh, we and were late. He went down to the car uh, while I finished dressing. I couldn't find so I just put on jeans. Oh, fuck. This isn't going well. Uh, we arrived at the place and his friends were already there. Everything was going normally until we reached the hallway. My boyfriend and one of his friends grabbed my back pockets and pulled them pretty hard and tore my jeans completely. My boyfriend realized it was Okay, wasn't... no, this is fake. You cannot do that. <laughs> you cannot, like, we're not even reading the... We're not giving this story any time. Like, this is not real. No? Well, that way... Caring... Like... Okay, no, first of all, before the jeans would rip... You would face like your you would know you would definitely your you would legs fall. would cut and like your head would just <laughs> smack the floor. You would get all your teeth knocked out before those jeans before the jeans rip. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I imagine the comments agree with such. A like I'm sorry, but we're not finishing that story. <laughs> all right, all right. These are kind of fucked. Like these are actually bad. Uh, maybe not today, but like the top posts from this week that like, you've definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my god, some of these are fucked. No, 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 we're... Okay, but I feel like the worst ones, the best ones to talk about for a podcast. Uh... No, it's, these are kind of, like, weird. Let's like... just look at the newest posts. Like, what's the latest one that's been posted? And that was a 21 male one that you liked. Um, You're not going to give that one time, though? No. How often do these post? Oh, geez, every like couple of minutes someone posts. So... Like, that was just now. And if I refresh the page, there's probably going to be a new one. No, there isn't. No, because it's every, like, every couple of minutes. Every it's not just... Minutes. Like, we could read one and then go back and there'd be a new one to talk What if about. we just go to the front page of Reddit? Like, just Reddit. Uh, not home. Not home. Just all. The newest post on all of Reddit. Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of in here. We haven't even seen any yet. <laughs> What's your... Well, the first one is from that community. Oh. And then this one is from that community. Oh. So I feel like... And there's like some Pokemon shit in here. This one's from a subreddit called... Lesbians with machetes. I, I don't know. Why does what it say you're part of that community? It doesn't. It said the join button is here. 
I'm not. Don't try to make it seem like I'm part of a community called Lesbians with Machetes. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <coughs> Alright, here's an Am I the Asshole. It's brand new. Brand new. No one's touched this yet. Am I the asshole for telling my classmate that I'd physically harm him if he insults me a third time? I don't want to make this long, so I'll make it short. And then there's like a fucking long ass post. And one of my university school projects, I had to work on a team of four, two of which we already knew each other, and a very close guy and girl. The other guy I had just met. As we're working on the project, the guy that's close with the girl, let's call him X, would be very bossy and tell us what to do. When I confronted him in the group chat about a missing, excuse me, about a missing page in our assignment that he promised to submit, he treated me like I was annoying for asking that question a second time. First time I asked him in class, he didn't answer, and it didn't look like he wanted to talk, and he didn't even answer the question really. All he said was the professor was happy with his part, and the part he missed wasn't worth much in terms of marks. Then he tells me how he gave us a good mark, and I addressed it as him being selfish to say that considering everyone contributed, the girls he's close with stumped to his rescue and made me out to be the bad guy by saying X didn't do anything wrong, and it's actually all of our fault since we made mistakes on our parts, but X's part was perfectly done. So she said how he already had this convo with me, and it doesn't understand why I'm messaging about this again. Near the end of the semester, my prof tells me uh, passing by that X emailed him to have an extension on the project. He didn't tell us this and was pressing us to give him our work quickly. My friend told me that X was stressed out and was having lots of problems with the project in the group chat. He made it seem like he was in charge of it all. When I confronted him about this, he told me he's absolutely sure that if I communicated in real life rather than looking at my feet when I pass him by and waiting until I get home to act like a big man behind my phone, the interactions would have been simpler. Then he left the chat. I sent him a private message informing him that if he intends to insult me again in class, he came to sit right behind me and trying to provoke me, so I ignored him, and he told the girl how I don't have any balls, that's why I don't want to face him. I break his ugly teeth and added, you think I'm scared of you? He blocks me. The next day I emailed him with an apology, saying I might have gotten a bit agitated. And for him to ignore what I said... I added how things like this happened during group work and wished him a nice weekend. He still kept me unblocked. I'm wondering what others think of the situation this and what I might have done. No, like that sucked. And like, Honestly, is he the I asshole? I wasn't even like listening for half of it though. I kind of spaced out for a lot of it. Like I don't. I wasn't really following. Basically, this guy was just shady as fuck in a group project, and decided to insult the person in front of everybody. So you think this is a real one because it's lame? Yeah, I do 100% think it's real because it's lame. But, like, that's how these things work. Yeah. Like, the good ones are never real. Mm-hmm. Like, the gene one. The gene one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ripping... <laughs> like, that's... that. Well, there's no way. No. Like, if you were to attempt that in real life, you would either, one, just pull their pants down. Yeah. Or just knock them down. Like, the genes aren't going to rip... Mm-hmm. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Or you're just going to, like, pull them back, and they're just going to fall. Yeah, there's no way that happened. Should we find a different one? Well, uh, I don't know. You, I wasn't really paying attention, but you just said, like... Yeah, these kind of blow, guy. Like, hold on, let's let's go back to the, the homepage of Reddit. Um, and, like, yeah, there's actually all new posts here. So, yeah, this is just, like, a lot of... Oh, my God. What? No, that was just some... I wasn't... I was... Yeah, no, we're just gonna keep on... Was it a link? To something? No, it was something like that. Oh. How do you read all these so fast? I'm not. I'm just looking at the community names. Oh. And like... There is a lot from this one community. Like... 
a weird amount for it only having 4,000 members. Is that not a lot? No, like the Am I the Asshole that we were in had like well over a million. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, I don't know what the biggest Reddit community would be. But like, I imagine the biggest one's probably around like 3 million. Jeez. Because there's a lot of staples where like, oh, if you join Reddit, you're just like, I don't know. You're in this community or box. It's just how it goes. Do you do you have Reddit there? I don't. No? Do you? Um, yeah, I do. I use it for like a lot of like Star Wars news and stuff. Some Lego Lego leaks. That nice. kind of stuff. Can be handy. What Discord? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same thing? No. I just I usually do just use Discord to play games with my friends. Like voice chat. Among Us. Yeah, some Among Us. Um, That's what I used to You watching the... the um, I've been streaming this this past week. Um, and so whenever you hear the voices of my buddies from there. And also in the videos, Lethal Company and Valorant that are going to be coming out. Um, that's all through Discord. Watch them. Yeah. Watch watch them. Um, nice. Yeah, man. Is that, 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 that. What was that? Is that what you've been playing recently? A lot of, yeah, Lethal Company and Valorant is what we've been ripping. Nice. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I imagine you've, you've seen a bunch of Lethal Company stuff. I have. It's a... Uh, no? <laughs> you haven't? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Brother, I saw you <laughs> shake your head. I don't know when that happened. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a... Um, well, if you do see it, because you have, mm-hmm. but if you do, it's a very fun game. Uh, I mean, you'll see it because you're gonna you're gonna watch the YouTube video I put out. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna explain the premise of the game. Mm-hmm. So basically, you work for a company. And you have to go land on a moon and go into a facility and just collect scrap and stuff and bring it back to your spaceship. Nice. But there's monsters, and so you have to not get caught or killed, essentially, by these monsters. And then you have to bring it back and sell them, and you have so many nights to meet a certain quota. and It's fun. It is. Can not confirm. Cannot confirm. No, I, I mean, I really enjoy it. I believe that they're working on a console version. So it's not available on console? No, it's just on PC right now. Dang it. Yeah. Among they're, Us is available on console. I know. Among Us, have you seen the Among Us VR? I, uh, have you seen the the guy that yells at kids? <laughs> that so, is... That's my favorite It's TikTok. so messed up, but it is so funny. Yeah, I love that guy. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah, it can be messed up. But, uh, very... I don't like TikTok anymore, though. No? Because I was scrolling through my For You page yesterday, and I accidentally clicked Not Interested on one of my favorite TikTokers. And now, I don't go on TikTok anymore. Because he's not there. Dang. You need to just, like, go to his profile and... There's no option to, like, click Not Uninterested. Or like, but you could just like go and like watch all of his videos and like them again, and then TikTok yeah. will be like, maybe this guy. I just like unfollowed him, then followed him again, and hoping that'll do the trick. Yeah, that would probably do it. It was such a fire video too. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, because because it's relevant to us. Okay. 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 If you if you send it to me, I'll put it up on screen too. Okay. Okay. POV. Nope. Not a POV. I don't care about you. POV. Nothing. That's another thing, Derry. You, you have one of the my uh, my biggest videos on TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah. Still you in uh, Cap Two. This guy. Still drop the bracket for all the boys out there. I mean, you got guys like Prime Fortnite in the one seed, NCAA twenty five in the five seed, March Madness in the two seed, Prime Mad Mobile in the three seed. So let me take you guys through my picks. Prime Fortnite, absolutely. I'll just show you the squad. Okay. I don't think you get the best opinion. Alright, alright, let's look look at what is this. So Prime Fortnite, 
2020 bike rides, spike ball, Chipotle, Minecraft, Minecraft phase, phase. pickup basketball, Friday night lights, NCAA, NCAA 25, March Madness, Outer Banks, Golf, Fantasy Football, Prime Madden Mobile, The Wii, Rebirth Island, and Tavon Austin highlights. So let's see. Prime Fortnite or 2020 bike rides? I feel like Prime Fortnite. Okay, okay. Yeah. Spike ball or Chipotle? I'd have to go with Spike ball. Spike ball on that one. Minecraft phases or pick up basketball? I mean, when you and your boys get into a phase when you're just playing Minecraft, like, it's, there's, it's really hard to beat that. Fire. Friday Night Lights or NCAA 25? What are those things? It's like Friday Night Lights is a, like a f- football movie and series. Oh. And a- NCAA 25 is like uh, Madden 25, but like for NCAA. But it hasn't come out. Like, obviously, it hasn't come out yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like, what you mean. like the game. Yeah, the last one. Like, they came out. The last one was 2014, and they stopped making it. And now they're like starting again because of NIL deals. So, that's okay. Happening. I feel like we'll go with the game then. Okay. March Madness or Outer Banks? You know, I've never watched Outer Banks. Uh, so, we're going to go with March Madness on that one. Nice. Me neither. Fuck Outer Banks. Golf? We, we cannot formulate a proper opinion on Outer Banks. We haven't seen it. Golf or fantasy football? Um, I feel like golf. Yeah. I pick golf. Prime Madden Mobile or Wii? Dude, the Wii. The Wii. I feel like the Wii's going to go all the way. Rebirth Island or Tim? There's no one doing it. What? You ruined it, man. Well, no, no. I just feel you like... You ruined it. Okay, fine. Let's fine, do no, it your let's, way. Fine, no, let's do it. Rebirth Island or Tavon Austin highlights? What? So I've never seen any of his highlights. Dang. What? So what is Rebirth Island, though? I have no idea. Okay, so we'll just go with the guy, then. Okay, Prime Fortnite or Spike Ball? Prime Fortnite, I feel like. Minecraft phases or... Okay, it'd be Dude, Minecraft, Minecraft phases. phases. Okay. Minecraft phases. March Madness or... Which one did you use? Golf? Or uh, golf. Golf. I feel like golf. Okay, okay. Well, golf hits, bro. Yeah. Golf is so fun with the boys. And girls. <laughs> Top. Never mind. Um, we or the guy? Well, we or just some guy that I don't know? Some guy. Well, I, don't know who, Austin. I don't know. I don't know. Search up, Search up how many views Tavon Austin highlights have. Fine. We're opening YouTube. Yeah, like 23 23 million million views. views. 2.9 million views. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Some guy. Come on, man. Okay. A highlight reel. He's not just some guy. 23 million views. Okay. But like the weave. And then. (laughs) Jeez. No, but like. Come on. (laughs) So then you said Prime Fortnite, right? Over Spike. Or did you say Spike? You said Prime Fortnite? Prime Fortnite over Spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite or Minecraft? <laughs> Come on. Prime Fortnite or Minecraft? Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft phases with the boys. So then we got the Wii. No, we have. Oh right, the golf. Wii. It's Wii or golf. Yeah. You know the Wii's got golf. So <laughs> we're gonna go with the Wii. Okay, I need some clarification. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna need to go with the Wii. So. I forget what you chose. March Bat oh Prime Fortnite or Minecraft phases. There was Minecraft. It was, okay. it was Minecraft. We or Minecraft phases. This is where it gets tough. Okay, cause like the Wii is the Wii, right? Mm-hmm. The Wii is your childhood. You know, we came from the Wii. But the Minecraft phases with the boys, you know? They're they're always a lot of fun. Yeah. But playing playing some Wii with the boys, you know. That's what Minecraft faces are. Day, I'm gonna need to give it to the Wii. Are 
arguable. Yeah. Would you have gone Minecraft phases? They're different. They're very different. I would not give up one for the other. We, I feel like it's more like family. Not fa- like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of times though I'd be hanging out with the guys. Yeah. And we just, you know, we'd rip some Wii Sports. There's just different phases of life, I feel like. Minecraft phases is like elementary school when like you'd go over to a friend's house after school, after a long day, and just play some games. I feel like Minecraft was really like... High school. COVID. COVID, yeah. Oh my god. Dude, COVID Minecraft was crazy. COVID Minecraft was a lot of fun. We had like full like eight persons on a... People. I forgot about that word. Eight people on a world. Man, they were fun. Yeah. They were so much fun. But I just feel like... It sucks now. I feel like I've tried to do it since. And just people are... You know, they're not into Minecraft. They still had their more recent Minecraft go about. And it's just, you know, there's so much in Minecraft now that it's hard to jump in after a longer break. Facts. I had Minecraft. When was the last Minecraft phase? Last semester. January. Yeah. Yeah, it probably would have been like uh, October. Yeah, I'd say October. I just I just got out of mine. Yeah, you just did? Yeah. Dude, Minecraft phases are great. Yeah. And with, then, with, the, uh, with the Wii, though. The guy who was the owner of the realm. His PS4 broke, so now, or, yeah, so now we have no world. Very yeah. unfortunate. That that blows. It is. I mean, it does. You know, there's no native version of Minecraft for the PS5. Like, you can play the PS4 version on the PS5. But, like, there's no just, like, PS5 Minecraft. I noticed that when I got my PS5, I was heated. I had some choice words. Yeah, I thought it was weird. I mean, I always prefer to play on uh, my computer, anywho, but... Nice. Oh, what I did enjoy was uh, playing on the realm with the boys, but, you know, plugging the keyboard and the mouse into the PS4, because that worked. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a very few games that you could do it for, but Minecraft was one of them. That was always a good time. Yeah. Man. Nothing like, you know, ripping some Wii or some Minecraft with the boys, Terry. Facts. Dari, I think we're gonna we're gonna end this episode here. Dari, thank you for thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Before we go, we need to rate the dip. We put it on the scale. So as the scale stands right now, from bottom to top, without you in it, on the bottom is Harry with chips and salsa. Then it's Julia with chips and salsa mixed with sour cream. Then it's Jacqueline with cookies in icing. Then it is uh, Hudson with his guacamole and chips, his homemade guacamole. Kira with her buffalo chicken dip. And then Caden with dumplings and peanut butter sauce. So I need to put this somewhere? No, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't rank yourself. Everyone, you know, just... You put yourself last. For sure. Well, I'm going to put you second last. That's so disrespectful to Harry. Oh, my God. Harry, come get this guy. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your back, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that... Okay, I'll try it again. There's okay. Hold on, give me one second. You think that what? So this is the exact. I think this is the salsa, the Harry brought. No, it's the same kind of salsa. Okay. Yeah, this is the same kind of salsa that Harry brought. Okay, well, what was your sentence going to be, though, before I take I think that... 
Well, I think yours is more creative. Uh, Mostly because it's the wrong kind of chip. True. But it's a comparison here. Oh, is this still uh, good? I don't know how long this has been around. I'm not gonna about to be eating some bad salsa. It's just vegetables. Vegetables can't go bad. That is oh so very wrong. Vegetables can go very bad. Not in my house. Do you think I bought this onion no. dip today? This is good until October, dog. Yeah, because it was new when we opened it and it popped like it was... Four years old. Okay. So, here's it with some salsa. Okay. Then with our onion dip. Shrek. Onions. Which actually expires like... At a similar time to this, actually. Like a week after. Hmm. Gary. Gary. Who the fuck is Gary, dog? Hey, the dessert guy. Don't disrespect him like that. You're right. Also, my landlord's name is Gary. You're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> I don't think Gary watched the podcast. That'd be crazy, though. You went to the store and you bought this. I actually made it. Okay. I work for Ruffles. You work for Ruffles? Mm hmm. Did, Harry just brought what he had laying around the house. You've put some effort in here. I'm giving you the second to last one. What, what did Julia do to get, like, to beat Harry out and mix the salsa and sour cream? Yeah, it was just better. Okay. Yeah. So, then what's wrong with Harry's salsa? N nothing. It was just wasn't as good as the salsa mixed with the sour cream. Nice. I respect it. Yeah. Like, this was good. Yeah. But this is like... So Murray and Will didn't bring dip, right? No, they were, um, they were before... Before the dip saga. So, uh... What um, other dips would be? If they were oh, dips, what would they be? Special announcement day. Oh. Next week, there will be an episode... Of double dipping with Will and Murray. No way. Yeah. We Tune are, in. We are very first special episode, episode 10 of double dipping will be the first episode of triple dipping. I know. Uh, and then every episode, episode 15 will be triple dipping. Episode 20 will be triple dipping. Episode 25 will be triple dipping. Episode 30 will be triple dipping. Every five episodes. We'll be triple dipping from here on out. Nice. But Derry? If you could have a dream guest, what would it be? A dream guest. Ooh, that's a good question, Derry. Um, hmm. I think Bert Kreischer would be really fun to have on the show. You know, you know Bert Kreischer. No, uh, he's, he's a very funny comedian. Nice. He has a podcast as well. I think that'd be interesting. Um, but like, if I could pick somebody in town, um, Andy Haken, the president of the university. Is that like because you don't like him or because you do like him? Um, I mean, I've talked to him. He seems like a nice guy. Um, I just think he'd be a really fun guest. But thank you for coming, Derek. Yep, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yep. And I will I will certainly have you on again for a special episode of Triple Dipping at some point. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any guests in mind? If it's uh, probably Harry. You and Harry. Nice. Do a little... Getting 510 back together. Yeah, yep. Well, you guys, uh, you were roommates of the year, right? We were. Yeah. Yep. That's, did you uh, vote for me? Of course I did. Thank you, thank you. Of course I did. Humbling. It really is. <laughs> Well, thank you, Derry.